There is a famous saying in the mountaineering world, if there is a living hell anywhere, it is none other than the death zone of Mount Everest. The death zone starts at heights above 8,000 meters, where the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere falls by 40%. It makes it difficult for the human body to get the oxygen it needs. It kills you slowly, hence the name death zone. Some climbers have even compared the experience to running on a treadmill and breathing through a straw. But despite this, what if I tell you that there is this one man who underestimated Mount Everest and this man himself confessed it and only realized his mistake when he went blind while summiting the deadliest mountain, Mount Everest. Who was this man and why and how did he go blind on his expedition? Richard Walker, born in 1980, son of Malcolm Walker, who founded Iceland in 1970. He graduated in geography from Durham University in 2001 and qualified as a chartered surveyor. He's married with two children and since 2002, he has overlooked his father's business. On May 17, 2023, this businessman made headlines with his successful expedition to the top of the world. Richard was accompanied by veteran mountaineer Kenton Cool, who had previously scaled the mountain in Nepal a total of 17 times. And Richard himself too had past experience climbing the North Pole of Everest. Richard planned this expedition to raise £1 million in charity money for patients with dementia. He was super excited for this venture and he told in one of his interviews, Having climbed to the North Pole of Everest, which is 7,020 meters, 12 years ago, I know that this certainly won't be easy. But I will be in the inspiring and hugely experienced company of Canton Cool, who has already reached the top an incredible 16 times. I am determined to do everything I can to make the world's first-rate dementia support center a reality. And of course, the pair did their months of preparations, but they didn't want to do the expedition the ordinary traditional way. The typical Everest expedition spends three months acclimatizing and preparing for the final summit push. Richard revealed his quest on his website back in March. He said, we aim to complete the climb in just three weeks by compressing the traditional pattern of repeated ascents and descents for the purpose of acclimatization. As described by Sir David Heppelman, Adams in no such thing as failure. And in setting this hugely ambitious goal, we are relying on Kenton Cool's unparalleled experience as a 16 times Everest summiteer and a hugely experienced guide. So, this pair started their journey from Kathmandu on April 19, 2023. By May 10th, they had reached base camp and it was the morning of May 12th when both started their bid towards the summit with the sun shining over their heads. They both reached South Coal on May 16 and on May 17, at around 1.30 UK time, Canton, Richard and Dorji Gelson summited Mount Everest. Upon reaching the world's tallest mountain, Richard Walker said the water in his drinking bottle was frozen solid at temperatures of almost minus 50 degrees Celsius during the coldest May in living memory of his. Still, everything until now seemed under their control, but things changed drastically during their descent. Richard explained later, I still had another eight hours of descent ahead of me with no water and I just lay there, next to a dead body, utterly terrified. The wheels came off emotionally and I was scared and losing a lot of energy. As they started descending, Richard started struggling. He was fully exhausted and had lost almost 60% of his vision. He was not able to see anything. As the pair struggled to make their way down the mountain, they spent a second night at Camp 4 situated in Everest's death zone, above 8,000 meters. Now we will have to understand that people can respond to high altitude in different ways. For some climbers, symptoms may include headaches, vomiting, tiredness, confusion, trouble sleeping, frostbite and dizziness. But these symptoms of acute mountain sickness can progress to high altitude pulmonary edema, popularly known as HAPE with which is associated with shortness of breath and confusion. 
and that's when things start becoming fatal. So what was happening with Richard? Richard was actually showing the classic sign of retinal hemorrhage, which was caused by the high altitude cerebral edema. In simple language, his cerebral blood vessels were dilated in response to oxygen deficiency to the level causing high pressure within his eyes. Richard actually revealed how he almost went blind after climbing the summit of Mount Everest and suffered a panic attack while sitting next to a corpse that was perfectly preserved from a climb in 2021. Despite running out of oxygen, Walker's vision gradually returned and they successfully made it back to Kathmandu. I just wanted to do a piece to camera whilst we were still coming off the mountain. Um, as you can tell, Everest has probably beaten me up and it's so much harder than I think normal people presume. I got it served to me on a plate. And now, uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit beaten up, a little bit emotional. Physically, we're, we're fine, if exhausted. I had something strange with my eyes uh, from the south summit down. Just three weeks later, Richard was at Iceland headquarters in Deeside along with his dad, being cheered by his colleagues. But he said his return to work was too soon. And even as an experienced climber, he underestimated the physical and mental strain of the journey. The boss of Iceland has shared footage from his harrowing climb of Everest, during which he almost went blind and revealed he decided to scale the world's highest peak in honour of his mother. The businessman documented the tough conditions he faced on camera, holding back tears as he clearly suffered after losing around 60% of his vision during the descent. He said, as you can tell, Everest has obviously beaten me up and it is so much harder than I think normal people presume. I got it served to me on a plate. He said that in an emotional video. Mr. Walker also revealed that his intrepid charity fundraiser for dementia research was in memory of his mother, Lady Walker, who passed away from Alzheimer's in 2021. The summit of Mount Everest has the magnetic ability to draw people towards it, but often the extent of the difficulty and sheer weight of the situation are lost on people. Well, take an idea yourself. Everest Base Camp is at a height of 17,600 feet, which is higher than nearly every mountain in Europe. But still, it attracts hundreds of climbers, leading to deadly experiences and successful stories like Richard's. And I think I will agree with Sir Edmund Hillary. It's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves thanks for watching the video and if you like my video please share and comment in the comment section below thank you